Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Kirsten Sanchez. I am the Business Development Director for Carnival Cruise Line based in the Orlando area. So I am right down the road from Port Canaveral, which is soon to be home to our newest ship, Mardi Gras. And I have with me today a very dear friend, Maria Cobb. Maria is our Business Development Manager that covers the New Orleans area, obviously home to Mardi Gras every year. So we thought it would be appropriate for both of us to take you on board and tour you around our newest and largest ship. But before we can get started, we've got to start all the way back in the beginning, all the way back in 1972. So this is Ted Arison. Ted is our founder. Back in 1972, Ted was in shipping up in the Boston area. And in the early 70s, cruising was seen a little bit more as a means of transportation. It was a way to get from point A to point B. It was for people with money. And it wasn't necessarily a destination in and of itself. So there were a lot of companies out there doing transatlantic cruises, and one of them in particular, the Canadian Pacific Line, was struggling a little bit with their occupancy. So they were selling one of their ships, so Ted was able to purchase one of their old ocean liners, so he purchased the Empress of Canada. Really great thing about the Empress of Canada, she was 27,000 tons, perfect size passenger ship, and she was a relatively new ship. So the ship had been built back in 1960. It was only 12 years old, and I'll tell you at that time, 12 years was relatively new for a cruise ship. So Ted purchased the Empress of Canada, and with a very short timeline and a very small budget, transformed it into the very first ship, ship in the Carnival fleet, Mardi Gras. So at the time, Carnival was not known as the fun ships. We were known as Carnival Cruise Lines, the Golden Fleet. Kind of the joke was it was neither a fleet nor was it golden. It was just one old ocean liner and it was just one. So we had our inaugural cruise on March the 11th, 1972 out of the port of Miami. And remember, this is a big deal. This is a brand new cruise line that's being launched. So there's a lot of media and a lot of press, a lot of people at the port see the ship off. And we did not know enough about cruising out of Miami at the time. As we cruised out, we got stuck on a sandbar in Key Biscayne. So I will tell you, the ship was sitting there for 24 hours on the sandbar, lots of media helicopters circling. It, had, it was a headline the next day. It was all on the evening news. So got a lot of infamous press in a way. But someone had the brilliant idea on board to open the bars. And the drink that evening was Mardi Gras on the rocks. And as the story goes, a waiter in his broken English said, hey, this is a pretty fun ship. And the whole fun ship cruise concept stuck. And that really was the beginning of the modern cruise industry where cruising did not have to be such a formal affair. It could be something fun. It could be a destination in and of itself. And it really should be accessible to everyone. So to continue that story just a little bit more, um, we did eventually get off the sandbar with the help of a lot of tugs and a little help from the tides. And we've been cruising ever since. But Mardi Gras was such a cornerstone of our foundation and really was um, such a game changer in the industry that we wanted to bring the name back with our newest ship. So the original Mardi Gras, she was eventually sold back in 1993 to a Greek line. She became the star of Texas for a while. And then in 2003, she was um, sold for scrap. So she's no longer around, but we're bringing the name back because we really do believe this ship is going to be so innovative that it really is going to be a game changer, not only for Carnival Cruise Line, but for the industry in general. What Maria and I would like to do at this point is take you on a little bit of a tour of our newest, largest ship. She's 180,000 tons, a far cry from the original Mardi Gras, which was um, right around 27,000 tons. In fact, that's how we marketed her, 27,000 tons of fun and held right around 1,000 people at full occupancy. Our new Mardi Gras will hold a little over 6,600 people, and she'll be the first LNG ship in the North American market. And Maria. I see you've changed locations. Where are you right now? I sure did. Hey, Kirsten. I am actually here today in the Meyer Turku uh, shipyard in Finland. So as you can see behind me, that direction, we have our Mardi Gras. She is in our shipyard being built as we speak. And you can even see our signature carnival funnel in the background. Super cool, Maria. I am so excited. Nice to see the hull is already painted, the funnels on there, construction is taking place, and I know it won't be long until we have Mardi Gras over here where I am right now. Where are 
are you right now, Kirsten? So I am here, as I mentioned, I'm in Orlando, but I made my way down the road to Port Canaveral. This is the brand new cruise terminal that the Port Canaveral Port Authority has just recently completed construction on. If any of you all were cruising way back when, back when Premier and the Big Red Boat were around, this was the old terminal they left out of. So Port Canaveral completely demolished the, the old terminal and they built this big, beautiful, brand new state-of-the-art cruise terminal. As you can see right here, we well, can't really see, but right inside, we actually have, they call it the launch pad. There's actually a rocket right in there because Port Canaveral is home to the space program. But it is um, 1,800 parking spaces, so if you're driving down or if you're flying in and renting a car, plenty of room to park. But it'll also be the very first LNG cruise ship in the North American market. And now that's a, a new term for you. LNG is sort of the trend in the industry. It's liquid natural gas. It's more fuel efficient. It's more cost effective. It's more um, eco-friendly. So it's really a good news story. So we're so excited that Port Canaveral has built the very first LNG cruise ship terminal. We'll actually have to fuel the ship by barge. But Maria, I know I've talked a lot about the terminal. I see you've moved inside the ship on me already. I did, Kirsten. I couldn't help myself. I'm just so excited to hop on board and show all of you these fabulous spaces. So again, so many firsts with our Mardi Gras. Um, we have six uniquely designed fun zones. And one of those fun zones, as soon as you step on board, is this beautiful atrium that you see behind me. As you can tell, we have floor to ceiling windows that actually span three decks high. And this is gonna be a very fun, dynamically used space. This is where you're gonna find daily entertainment. You can come on in, grab a, a seat with your family and friends, grab a cocktail, uh, maybe listen to some live music. And uh, we will have our cruise director and our entertainment staff on board doing some really cool activities by day and by night. So one of those awesome activities is it's Family Feud! Maria, I am so excited that we're going to be doing Family Feud on board. So there's a stage right underneath those three-story high windows. We're going to have a full build-out of the Family Feud set, and families will be able to come in and play against one another. And even if you're not coming as a family, we'll make a family out of you. But it will be the full Family Feud game, including Fast Money at the end, all hosted by our cruise director on board. So I am so excited. I'm a huge Family Feud fan. But in addition to Family feud taking place in Grand Central, this area is also going to transform at night and become an entertainment venue in and of itself. So there are these 14 foot high LED panels that will drop down. We'll be able to do lighting and special effects. So we'll be doing some special entertainment in here with our entertainment staff and our performers as well. So I'm really excited about this area in the evening, but know that this does not take the place of some of our other entertainment venues. So just off of Grand Central here, you're also going to have our main show lounge. So this is where we'll do our playlist production shows. Lots of fun activities taking place in here. And another area that I'll tell you I'm really excited about is our Punchliner Comedy Club. So we're going to have a dedicated lounge off of Grand Central that will just be for our Punchliner Comedy. So we do the five different shows every evening. The two are family friendly, the later three not as family friendly, um, but its own dedicated space. But Maria, all of this here in Grand Central, so many fun activities and bars and lounges, but I believe you've gotten a little bit ahead of me and headed down onto the Esplanade, right? I have. I put on my running shoes today and we are we are here in, uh, again, we're in Grand Central, and this is going to be sort of your main highway um, as you walk up and down this beautiful two-deck high promenade. You are going to walk past some of my personal favorite eateries. So we have Bonsai Sushi, which is our a la carte sushi restaurant. Uh, this is also where you're going to find Bonsai Teppanyaki, um, which is a delicious hibachi-style grill restaurant. It is absolutely amazing. You'll also find our steakhouse, which is our Fahrenheit 555, which is perfect for a fancier evening of fine dining. Um, and then, of course, some other super fun spaces. So um, one of the... Um, one of my favorite spaces is our Alchemy Bar, which is another guest favorite here. I see, Kirsten, you have a drink in hand already. 
I did. I was just up at the Alchemy Bar while you were telling everyone about all of the great dining and bars. So I picked up one of my favorite cocktails and headed down to the casino. I know a lot of you are big casino fans. So casino, um, it's full service on board. You've got your slot machines, your Caribbean stud poker, your blackjack, your craps. Maria, I don't know about you. I still can't for the life of me figure craps out. But if you are <laughs> a player, then please come play me in our neither. casino. <laughs> but you know what? Other than the casino, I think my Alchemy bar might be my favorite place to hang out <laughs> absolutely and you know what what what's one of my favorite cocktails is the spicy spicy chipotle pineapple martini it's a mouthful but oh boy is it delicious that it is and maria if you listen i think i might hear something i might let's give it give it a whirl in here I think that's all you need one thing. Oh yeah, Kirsten. <laughs> oh fun. Where so are if you? <laughs> if you can't tell already, I am in one of my personal favorite zones called guess what? The French Quarter Zone. So I am a little bit partial because of course I'm here based out of Louisiana, but if you love all things New Orleans, you are going to fall in love with this zone. As you can tell, um, it's a beautifully appointed zone, of course, New Orleans themed. Um, the bar behind me, we're gonna check out in just a moment, but uh, it's got kind of a garden district theme. And this is the perfect space to go in, grab a cocktail like a traditional New Orleans Sazerac um, beverage, a hurricane. Hurricane, um, a good hurricane. Enjoy some music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Enjoy some of that live jazz, right? Yes, absolutely. And where are you, Kirsten? Bam! I am in Emeralds. <laughs> so we have on Mardi Gras Emerald's first ever Emerald Lagasse from New Orleans, his first ever restaurant at sea. So this is Emerald's Bistro 1396. So kind of an interesting fact for all of you out there, 1396 was actually the ship's hull number over in the shipyard. So she's actually been floated out now and she is taking shape as Mardi Gras. But when she was just a little bitty hull, we were calling her 1396. So that's where the name comes from. But I am really excited about trying out emeralds. This is going to be all of emeralds signature dishes, your shrimp etouffee, your oysters on the half shell, your muffalettas and your po'boys, bananas foster. Um, it is seated, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There is a nominal cost, but very reasonable from what I've seen. So I am really excited about giving a try. I do want to try some oysters on the half shell. What do you think, Maria? Me, me too. And some of that etouffee, and let's throw in some bananas foster while we're there at it. Go. There you go. But you got to have a drink when you're having all the food, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we can grab a amazing cocktail behind us. Again, right now, I am in front of our Brass Magnolia Bar. So again, our Brass Magnolia Bar in our French Quarter Zone has a New Orleans theme, Garden District theme specifically. And uh, again, as mentioned, we're going to have live jazz music in this space. We've always done such a great job at Carnival with having a wide variety of different uh, music genres on board, but we haven't really featured a lot of jazz. So this is going to be so cool, and I know this is going to be a hot spot as soon as our Mardi Gras starts sailing. So let's go ahead and grab a cocktail and uh, continue walking through the ship. And uh, where are you, Kirsten? So, you know, I said earlier that I thought Alchemy was my favorite place to hang out. Yeah. Actually, this is my new favorite place. This is Fortune Teller, so right across from where you are, part of the French Quarter. It is, if you look at the, the vibe in here, it's very much voodoo, black magic, New Orleans kind of vibe. We have mixologists in here. This is what I'm really excited about. So I've got my typical 40 is the new 20 from Alchemy. <laughs> this place is going to make some really fun specialty cocktails, drinks that change colors, bubble and sparkle. So we're going to have one called Golden Galaxy that's actually going to have little flakes of gold in it. Wow. I know. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's on the cheers package. <laughs> cool. Awesome. I know. I'm all for it. That, and we've got another one called Abracadabra, and as the bartender's pouring it, it's going to change colors on you. So along with the fun drinks and the live music, I don't think I'm ever going to want to leave this portion of the ship. Um, maybe yes. that's where you are. <laughs> Unless it's to go grab some pizza, right? <laughs> exactly. 
So I am here in our next fun zone uh, called La Piazza, which is obviously an Italian themed zone. And this is where you're going to find some amazing eateries, including one of my personal favorites, the Pizzeria del Capitano, which is our 24-7 pizzeria. We make it fresh to order. We make our own dough, fresh toppings. We throw it in the traditional brick oven. Um, you know, to serve it right up, fresh and hot. And then a cool new feature on the Mardi Gras and some of our other ships is that you can actually order a whole pizza delivered fresh to you no matter where you are on the ship. You use your Hub app. I'm telling you, yes, you take out your smartphone and you can go ahead and order you a pizza delivered to Fortune Teller Bar or to your cabin out on Lido, wherever you are on board. So I just think that that is the coolest, neatest thing. So no matter where you are, when you want some pizza, you know it's right there coming coming at you. Maria, I just, went there, I just went there to order a pizza. For some reason, what is it about three in the morning that makes the pizza extra good? I don't know. but I, good, but 3 a.m. for whatever reason is extra good, right? Yeah. So another part of La Piazza, I am in Cucina del Capitano, and I think most of you out there know that all of our captains and officers are all Italian. So we've taken their family recipes and we've incorporated it into an Italian restaurant. So during the day, it's a complimentary lunch. So seated lunch, it's basically a build your own pasta bowl, but nice quieter lunch rather than being up on Lido. And in the evenings, it is $15 additional per person, but well worth it. It's an amazing chicken Parmesan known as meat balls, there's a lemon sorbet and a tiramisu, and I'm getting hungry thinking about it. But Maria, I see you, you moved out on outside. What are you doing out there? <laughs> yes, you got me so hungry. I think I'm going to sit out here and um, order up some of that chicken parmesan. That is my absolute favorite. You know, my last cruise was my birthday, and that's exactly what I ordered for my birthday meal. So um, I think, you know, the only way that you can get better from eating delicious homemade Italian food is mm -hmm. eating delicious homemade Italian food with a view. So you again, we have al fresco dining here attached to our cucina. And speaking of Caribbean views, I know another place on the ship you can get a nice Caribbean view, and I think you just, you beat me to it. I did. Again, it is a beautiful day out here on deck. Uh, it's a little sunny and bright. It's got my shades on, and I'm just ready to sit back, relax, maybe um, work on a little bit of my tan, and um, just enjoy some of this beautiful weather. So I am in a space, this is another one of our unique fun zones called Summer Landing. Summer Landing is going to feature some of my favorite vacation activities, like just hanging out in the sun, there's a pool, there are some jacuzzis, there's a wonderful um, bar as well, so there is bar service back here, and again, this is in addition to Lido Deck, which we're going to show you um, what that looks like a little bit later, so, um, I, hey, you know what, I see you back there, Kirsten, you see, hey. I'm standing under the awning, I'm looking for you, <laughs> No, I'm standing looking out at Summer Landing right now to that beautiful infinity pool, but right on the other side of where I am, so going that direction, is um, a partnership we've continued with Guy Fieri. So I think you guys know Guy's Burgers, um, but we've continued on many of our ships with Guy's Barbecue. So Maria, you keep beating me there. Darn it. <laughs> you know, I follow my nose. So I followed my nose straight to this amazing uh, dining venue. Again, this is one of my favorites. This is with our celebrity partnership with Guy Fieri. We have Guy Fieri's Pig and Anchor Barbecue Smokehouse and Brew House. And I'm here right in the Smokehouse Brew House. As you can tell, super casual environment. You can just be hanging out by the pool. Come on in when you're hungry. Um, at lunchtime on sea days, we're going to have, again, complimentary all you can eat barbecue. Um, and we're going to have things like uh, a smoked chicken. We're going to have baby back ribs. We're going to have pulled pork and brisket and then of course there is also a full barbecue sauce station um, as well and all of these meats 
are smoked fresh in our smoker using hickory and apple wood. I mean, I'm telling you, it is so amazing. And it's totally complimentary at lunchtime. In the evenings, this restaurant is gonna be a um, specialty restaurant. Basically, you're just gonna sit down, order off a menu, so it will be a la carte. And some of my favorite foods are, um, the chicken wings are great, and then also uh, trash can nachos. They're actually some fancy nachos with pulled pork on top, some cheese, and my favorite, it's a bourbon, a bourbon brown sugar barbecue sauce drizzled on top. If you weren't hungry before, you're hungry now, I guarantee yum. you. <laughs> yum, and I'll tell you, Maria, just from the smell in here alone is amazing. I, yeah. my favorite, I love the brisket, and I love that Mac Daddy mac and cheese. Oh, I can make yes. a lunch of that just about every day. But in addition to the fantastic food, as Maria mentioned, live music in here, but we also have a brewery on board. So right behind me here, we have a full-time brewmaster that sails with a ship. So he sails, you're actually brewing beer as you're cruising. He does four different craft beers. And if you're looking for something fun to do in the evening or maybe on a sea day, you can actually do a tour. So there's the, the big kettles back here. You can do a tour of the brewery. I hear our brewmaster's pretty generous with the samples that he gives out. Another thing we do here, Maria, that I didn't realize I was such a big bourbon fan. We do some really fun bourbon drinks in here, too. So between the barbecue and the bourbon, I don't think I'm leaving. I'm with you. <laughs> Except to Unless. go get other food. <laughs> Unless it's to come back out here on Lido deck. So... You all know, those of you who have cruised on Carnival before, um, how much fun can be had out here on Lido Deck. So this is going to be just the main area with our pool, our jacuzzis, um, our hot tubs out here. Also plenty of bars. You can grab a nice fruity drink. Um, and you know what? Speaking of fruity drink, where are you, Kirsten? Did you just call me a fruity drink? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hanging out here, this is our Red Frog Tiki Bar. So as you can see, two levels high, but it's all of your great Caribbean frozen drinks. Um, Miami Vice, Pina Colada, that's the best way, in my opinion, to have a sail-off party. Have your Miami Vice and sail away. We also do our own private label beer. This is Thirsty Frog Red. It's an amber beer. So if you wanted to sit out here, enjoy your drink, watch the entertainment on Lido Deck, listen to some live music, it's a fun play. Maria, what are you doing? I thought you were going to wait for me. I Where are you? <laughs> We've been talking about food. I had to go and try this restaurant because I'm telling you, I cannot wait. I'm so excited about this. And this is amazing. You're going to have to come over here and try one of these. So if you're wondering where I am right now, I'm going to finish this bite. I, <laughs> I am in Big Chicken, okay? So if you have ever visited one of these Big Chicken um, restaurants on land, this is a restaurant that is uh, by Shaquille O'Neal, who's one of our um, brand ambassadors. He is a chief gun officer for us here at Carnival, and he has this fabulous restaurant called Big Chicken on land. Now, with our partnership with him, we have this restaurant on board. And guess what? It's not only delicious but it's free. It's totally included. And um, we have things like a variety of chicken sandwiches, chicken baskets, chicken tenders, even things like jalapeno coleslaw and potato salad. So and what, what in the world? So you went to be chicken without me. I went and got my guy's burger. <gasps> no, good stuff, right? You know what? We're going to have to switch up and I'll go over there. I'll get me a burger and then you come over here and try one of these chicken sandwiches. You will not be disappointed. Perfect. Half and half, right? Yes. <laughs> so, Maria, as you know, we do have the largest guy's burger at sea on board Mardi Gras. So we are very excited about all of the great dining options. And we've actually introduced, in addition to Big Chicken, we've introduced another new concept called Street Eats. So Street Eats right here, this is very food truck inspired. So it's international in flavor. It's something grilled, something steamed, and something fried. So it could be that you get a bao bun, which are those sticky Asian rolls. Could be a chicken satay, which is grilled. It could be a croquetta or falafel. But it's very international and will change throughout the cruise. So it's just a chance to grab a snack and try something new. All of it is complimentary, in addition to big chicken being complimentary as well. But tons and tons of dining options. And Maria, with all the dining, I feel like we need to get a little activity in right yes 
I'm telling you. And, you know, when Kirsten and I, when we cruise together, we like to um, go big or go home, right? So we exactly. enjoy our food. We enjoy our cocktails. We also enjoy taking the stairs as often as we can. And then coming out on the sports deck, um, you know, during the day when the weather's nice and just doing some walks around, plenty of spots for you and um, your clients and their active families to just get out there. And um, place the ball, we do have a full basketball court. Um, we also have our sky course, which is our ropes course at sea, which you can kind of see right above me. And then, uh, of course, mini golf. And then, what are you doing, Kirsten? Whee! So we're also introducing the first ever roller coaster at sea. Wow, that is awesome. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so this yeah. is Bolt. This is the first ever roller coaster to be put on a cruise ship. It's for two riders. It's completely electric and will go two different speeds. So you can go up to 40 miles an hour. Um, you do go up and around the funnel and you it's 187 feet above the water. So I imagine some spectacular ocean views, but I just want to go to ride the roller coaster. I'll just keep pretending. No, I'm all for it. I'll be your riding buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, but with all the action going on between the eating and the drinking and all the entertainment, <laughs> it looks like you are ready to retire for a little while. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always a carnival cruise is so action packed. There are things to do everywhere you turn. But you know what? It is very nice to have a cozy, comfortable stateroom to go and just freshen up throughout the day, maybe take a little nap have a rest, um, or just spend some time in here in between the fun and all the activities. Um, so here I am. I am showing you all. I'm in an interior stateroom that we have. And um, we actually have, uh, it's a really cool new concept. We have standard interior rooms, which I'm in right now, and then also even premium interior rooms if you want a little bit more space in your cabin. Um, but right now, this is a standard interior room behind me. You see it is modern. It is sleek. It is beautifully appointed. And you know, here at Carnival, we have uh, our standard size stateroom is over 50% larger than industry standard. So you know that you're always going to have um, quite a bit of, of square foot of space. And some really cool features. I'm not sure if you can quite see them behind me, but right in the headboard are USB charging stations. So if you have your, um, your gadgets, you can just go ahead, plug them in, let those recharge as you recharge in your stateroom. So, um, um, and so this is an interior. The only thing it's missing, honestly, is a window um, and maybe a balcony too. But uh, we have our standard ocean views, which are nice. They're like this, just a little bit larger. You have a sofa to lounge on, nice three by four foot picture window to let that beautiful light come into your cabin. And then one of my personal favorites is a balcony stateroom. If you booked a balcony cabin, it's hard to go back to anything else where you have a nice private balcony out there to just enjoy those sunrises and sunsets. And then beyond that, we also have some premium staterooms. So, um, Carson, I think you're in one of those right now. I am, but first, Maria, I made something for you. <laughs> How did you know those are my favorites? Isn't that the best part of the day to come back to your room and find the towel animal on your bed? Okay, I'm actually yes. not that, that talented. <laughs> I love it. I'm in one of our specialty state rooms. So this is a Cloud9 Spa. These actually are some of my very favorite rooms to cruise in. They do come in a variety of categories. So interior, ocean view, balconies, and suites. As you can see, it's a spa branded decor in there. You have the spa branded robes used throughout the cruise, spa branded amenities. And then you get priority reservations for spa services. But the part that I really like is complimentary access to certain parts of the spa that the rest of the guests have to pay for. So those are namely going to be the thalassotherapy pool, which I'm telling you from a southerner like me, that was a mouthful. But a thalassotherapy pool, they're basically kind of like a giant hot tub, but it is this ionized water with minerals and the bubbles come out from everywhere. And it's just amazing. In addition to the thalassotherapy pool, if you're in one of the Cloud9 spa rooms, you also get complimentary access to our sauna and steam rooms. So these are those beautiful rooms with the heated chaise lounges with a beautiful ocean view. So you could spend the whole cruise just relaxing in those areas. And again, that's complimentary if you are in one of our Cloud9 spa rooms. And just Total, uh, total uh, kind of tip, I guess. Spa is going to be completely different on Mardi Gras as well. It's going to be down on deck five. So very, very different design for us, but I'm sure just as relaxing. 
Now, Maria, another type of specialty room that I really do enjoy. So the spa's on deck five, families are on deck four. So if you're cruising as a family, these are great rooms to have. These are our family harbor state rooms. So they come in, again, a variety of categories. So you've got your interior, your ocean view, your cove balconies, and your suites. They obviously have a nautical decor. And someone told me, and I don't know if they're pulling my leg, but if you read this runner, it's supposed to say fun ships. I don't read nautical flags, so I don't know if they're pulling my leg. I know, but I like to believe it, right? It's a, it's a fun little tip here. But one of the cool things about being in the family harbor rooms is you're down on deck four with Camp Ocean, and you also have exclusive access to an area that you're standing in right now. That's right, Kirsten. So I am standing right now in our family harbor lounge. So again, when you're booked in one of those beautiful family harbor staterooms, you have exclusive access. This is your own part of the ship just for you. Um, your key card opens up the door to this lounge, and this is where um, you know, you'll find families with small children um, hanging out with other families with small children. And so it is just a wonderful space. Um, again, just an uh, area we have snacks, we have a soft serve ice cream machine in here, we have board games, and um, just a wonderful spot on the ship for families. What's that, Kirsten? What do I hear over there? Is that some salsa? It is! I had to play a little salsa music. I'm in one of the Havana rooms. So our Havana rooms, we introduced these with the Vista class. And again, variety of categories, interior ocean view, balconies and suites. As you can see, very much a Caribbean decor, um, very Cuban inspired. Really cool thing though with these rooms, if you're in one of the Havana rooms, you have exclusive access through the entire cruise to the Havana pool area. So the Havana pool area only for people in these rooms. There's no paying to get in, so it's exclusive 24 hours a day. We do ask that kids are at least 12 years old to book these rooms, and in many ways that cuts down on a lot of the small, small children getting in the pool. But these have been such a hot commodity. If you have clients looking for them, book them as soon as possible. If you find one, don't let it go. These are very, very popular. And if you look right here, so this is a Havana Cabana I'm in right now. And if you look right out these doors here, you'll see the lattice. That's the outdoor lanai. It's not completely private because it's not a balcony. It's out onto a lanai, out onto an outdoor walkway. But you do have your own hammock swing. So you could sit there, listen, listen to your salsa, and just swing and watch the ocean go by. And speaking of listening to salsa, yeah. Where are you? This is the place to be. I am telling you, Kirsten, you and I have sailed before and we love, like right after dinner or a show, we'll come on out here for some live Latin music. So if you enjoy Latin music like salsa, merengue, bachata, this is the place to come. You can dance the night away. This is one of those lounges um, uh, or dance clubs on board that is open to the wee hours of the morning. So you can, again, come in here, listen to listen to a live uh, conga uh, band and just enjoy your time on board and also as you can tell there is a full bar behind me so you can get your delicious rum based cocktails we serve up all kinds of delicious beverages back here one of my personal favorites are our mojitos what what do you think kirsten love the mojitos and i don't salsa but i sure love having a mojito and watch people <laughs> This is a great place for people watching too. It is totally, you know, I think this is really the place people come to hang out now. You know, the nightclub, you might find a few people there, but this really is where the party is back here. I agree. Yeah. So Maria, a couple other specialty type rooms. We've actually introduced a brand new concept with Mardi Gras. So we're introducing concierge service on board Carnival. So we've got what we call our Excel suites. There's 32 of these rooms on board and they range from roughly about 750 square feet up to about 1120 square feet are the largest ones. And again, there's only 12 of them. They do all have separate sitting areas and sleeping areas. They've got the double bathrooms. Um, you've got concierge service. So you've got someone there at your 
back and call. Everyone that's in an Excel room also gets a complimentary bottomless bubbles package. And they also get exclusive use of an area we call Loft 19. And we'll talk about that in just a moment here. But I happen to be in one of the Excel aft suites here. So this one's right around 860 square feet. As I mentioned, you've got your separate sitting area and sleeping area. All these rooms will still hold only up to five people. So that's still the maximum occupancy. And if I look out my door, Maria, I think I see you on the balcony there. Hey, Kirsten! I am checking out this view. Let me tell you, this is absolutely amazing. I'm sure you all would agree. We have patio furniture out here. This is just a wonderful space. Again, these are uh, aft Excel suites, so they're towards the back. They have this beautiful wraparound balcony. And I'm not sure if you can see over, yeah, over this shoulder. You see what that is back there? That is your own hot tub, private hot tub on your balcony and again on these uh excel aft suites and there are 12 of these state rooms and they will go fast mm -hmm. they will and maria if we move to the top of the line, we actually have two presidential Excel suites. So I'm in one of them right now. Again, there's only two of them. I happen to be in the bedroom portion. I see you over there in the living room portion or in the dinette side. But hey. these are about 1,120 square feet and they are great rooms to entertain in. I was, we were talking about it earlier, right, Maria? If you're gonna yeah. book one of these, I wouldn't go with family because I think your family, you'll never get them to leave. <laughs> if you want a quiet vacation, have the room all to yourself. Don't bring the family. Yes. Or you want the family. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic rooms. I see you could even have your own party over where you're standing. Absolutely. That's and for sure. There's an L-shaped sofa back there. Uh, nice, the very nice. And right outside your doors, I just stepped out for a moment. But you do have these beautiful big wraparound balconies, again, with the hot tub that's exclusive to the room. And you've got the nice patio furniture with a little dinette table as well. So they're great rooms to have. They're the Excel rooms. They do go very quickly. Again, there's only 32 on, on the ship, so 32 on every sailing. So if you've got clients interested, these are great rooms to book. And they also are pretty nice commissions to have, too. Maria, you moved out into Loft 19. I see you've got your sunglasses on already. I did. You know, I'm so excited. I just can't help myself. Um, so I wandered out here on deck, and um, this is an exclusive deck just for those guests that are booked in those Excel class suites. So this is really a ship within a ship concept. Um, and, you know, this deck where I'm at, uh, I think, so the Serenity deck is right below me. And let me see if I can see you down there. Hey Kirsten! Hey Marie, I see you up there. I'm down there on deck are. 18 in Serenity. That's right! Awesome! I'm telling you, you can't get a more beautiful view from this part of the ship. Again, we are uh, positioned right above Serenity Deck. So, you know, all together, this is kind of a more quiet um, part of the ship versus Lido, where we have more of the guest activities daily. Um, so if you just want to catch up maybe on your reading or just listen to the sound of the ocean, this is where you can go to do just that. And again, not everybody on the ship has access to this. Just guests that have booked an Excel class suite. So you're going to have have to book those suites early. Um, there's an infinity pool. You can't really see it, but it's behind me. There's plenty of lounge chairs. There's even cabanas. Now, um, to rent a cabana for the day, there is a nominal charge, but mm -hmm. it comes with some extra services. One of those extra services includes full lunch, ser lunch service. Your lunch is actually brought and delivered to you to your own private cabana. So that would be a nice treat, especially on your sea days. You, mean, you, my guys, you, mean, you mean my guy's burger? Yes. My guy's burger can be delivered? Oh, so. Cool. <laughs> so even if you're not in one of those Excel rooms, um, do know that you can rent. So the Excel guests do have priority over renting those cabanas. If there's any left over, we do sell them for the rest of the guests on board. They range roughly from $50 on a port day for a full day up to $150 on a sea day. So pretty reasonable. But if you are not in an Excel room and not renting a cabana, do you know that we do still have the adults only serenity area? So that's the area I'm in. As Maria mentioned, I'm on deck 18. She's on deck 19. So it's all in the same area on the ship. But again, nice quiet portion if you wanted to get away from some of the action going on board, complete opposite end from the roller coaster, so you won't at least hear those screams. Um, <laughs> 
but Mardi Gras, we are very excited. I know I saw a few comments coming in, Maria. Everybody wants to know, where is this ship going and how can they get on board? So as mentioned, the ship will be going to Port Canaveral. She'll start with an exotic Western Caribbean itinerary, and then we'll do an Eastern Caribbean itinerary. And the ship will alternate seven-day exotic Western and Eastern Caribbean itineraries. Both of them really great. I tend to lean towards the Western Caribbean. I love going to Mexico. Mahogany Bay is one of my favorite ports. It's off the coast of Honduras. It's on Isla Roatan, and it probably is one of the prettiest bays. You get off the ship, and it's just a cruise resort. It's a cool beach day. There's actually a ski lift that takes you up and over and drops you on the beach. It's a great beach day. But then again, I look at Amber Cove. Amber Cove is another one of my favorites on the eastern. So it's on the north shore of the Dominican Republic. It's a cruise resort. So if you just wanted to get off and hang out at the pool, there's a water park there. There's actually a zip line that goes over the whole complex. But it's a beautiful region. It's very mountainous. You can go see waterfalls. You can do horseback riding. You can go windsurfing. Grand Turk's another great one. It's a cruise resort. It's got one of the largest Margaritavilles in the Caribbean. Huge pool with a swim-up bar. It's another cool beach day. And who doesn't love San Juan, right? Both of these great itineraries, they would be great actually as back-to-backs too. But the ship will rotate seven-day Eastern and Western every Saturday. And Maria, I just heard a little secret. We're actually open for Mardi Gras through April of 2023. So if people wanted to go out there and start making plans and plan a little further in advance, we're open all the way through April of 2023 for reservations. I have had so much fun with you all today. I can't thank you enough for joining us. Maria, I have had such a great time with you today, and I can't wait to do this again. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun, Kirsten. We're definitely going to have to do this again. And uh, again, to all of our travel partners out there, thank you so much for all of your support. And we can't wait to welcome you with open arms, you and your clients, onto our all-new Mardi Gras. So as we say here at Carnival, don't forget, travel agents rock! <laughs>